Hey everyone and welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome aboard. If you could do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button down below. Like, comment, and or share this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're going to do a little quick video. I just ran to my local Marshalls and picked up a fragrance that I never heard of, but I was excited I was able to pick it up. Stay tuned. As I said, on my way home from work today, I was able to stop at the local Marshalls, and I wanted to see if they had anything available that I could add to my collection. Normally when I go in there, I have found pretty much nothing since the holiday. It got cleared out pretty fast. Even the gift sets have been packed up and gone pretty quickly. So I headed over to the area where they have all the fragrances in the men's department, and as I got to the fragrances, I started looking through and I saw some basic fragrances. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, I saw a bunch of those different ones that are made for Marshalls, or what I believe are made for Marshalls. Uh, a couple other ones, I think Surf was there. You know, very basic stuff that you see every time you go. And there was a really nice smell, though. Like, the, the fragrances, either someone had some open, someone sprayed them, and the area smelled pretty good. Now, as I got down to the second shelf, was looking a little bit further, there was a woman off to my left-hand side that was trying to load a heavy bag. I don't know, Marshall's had a heavy bag this time, into her carriage. She was having a problem with it. So I stopped what I was doing, I walked over, and I asked her if she wanted some assistance. I helped load it into her carriage and asked her if she needed help outside or bring it to her car or anything like that. And she said no, she was fine. She would ask someone from the store there and, and thanked me for my assistance. Now I went back to the fragrance area, we'll call it, and maybe it was my good deed, whatever. I'll take it for that if that's what it was. And I found a fragrance. I saw a bottle, just a random one. I thought was going to be some, honestly, some kind of crappy fragrance that wasn't worth getting in my collection, in my opinion. And then I looked at it a little bit closer, realized there was actually something to it. Now, the fragrance I'm talking about is from a house I've never purchased anything from, I've never smelt anything from. It's this guy right here, Robert Graham, and the fragrance is called Valor. Uh, according to Fragranica, the manic words are amber, coffee, aromatic, animalic, warm, spicy, herbal. And uh, I think this was launched in 2016 and includes sage, amber, and coffee, if I'm correct. I'm going to open up the bottle here box it's a little bit torn it was like that at marshall's had the plastic torn around it which i was okay with because i got a chance to get my nose on it at that time and you know kind of made me want to buy it just by looking at the bottle so the bottle itself <clears throat> i'll put it up close here for you is a pretty good looking bottle hopefully that comes into focus for you pretty sharp all around this little cloth component in the front with the name on the top the coolest part is this one right here Again, okay, I'm going to try to get that in focus. There you go. It's like a bulldog right on the top there. Pretty awesome. And the design around here has a really nice texture to it. Top pops off pretty cool. The sprayer. I think it'll focus. There you go. Nice sprayer overall. And this one here, when the cap goes on, it does spin to a specific spot. You can hear it click there. Pretty sturdy. I'm not sure how much I trust it just yet because it's brand new to me. And I haven't had a chance to really try it out for, you know, picking up, drop off, pick up. But if it's in the right spot, it holds on pretty strong. Now, for what really matters, the juice. So I'll pop the top off of this guy. We're going to give it a nice spray. I've already sprayed this on my arm. So I want to get a chance to get a good smell of it, see what it was like to me. But you know what? I'm going to do a little fresh on my hand here too. Now, the fragrance itself, without beating a dead horse or going a long way to get the answer, it's a very nice fragrance. If you like warm spicy amber fragrances that just smell rich um you know really this does smell like a really nice mixture I, it's a designer fragrance because robert graham i looked up real quickly is a designer you know but it's a really high-end designer fragrance it smells really nice in my opinion now when you first spray it you get this is going to be kind of weird but if you watch my review on this guy right here that's um, just lost the name of it. Mortal Skin. Uh, it has a slight clay smell or Play-Doh, if you want to call it that. This has that little bit of that same uh, DNA for about 15 minutes. Then that fades away. I was able to put this on about an hour ago in my arm. I sat there, tested it, did things like that just to see what the smell would be like. 
and that fades away. It, it fades away pretty quick. Very strong, very rich, very robust. This is definitely a fall or a winter fragrance. Um, I could see this lasting a long time. Like I said, I just got it today, and I really wanted to do a quick review to get it up online for you. But the smell is really good. So I, there is a spice that I smell like a pepper, some sort of peppery something that, I mean, sage could do that, but I don't think it's sage. There's just a cool spicy part to this. And when it dries down, it gets even better. So the original spray is really good, really nice, really sharp, but not anything crazy. It's like a sharp smooth. The spiciness is there with that, that Play-Doh. I'm gonna use that as a reference forever now. For that Play-Doh smell, but it's like a really cool smell overall. Spicy, amber. I don't really see the animalic part, except for maybe that Play-Doh thing, if that some sort of a monster, maybe. I don't really know what kind of animal smells like Play-Doh, but we're gonna go with that. Yeah, it's just a cool smell. It smells really good. Now, when I was thinking about this fragrance and trying to think of another one it might smell like, I was wondering maybe Spice Bomb, no. Uh, a bunch of different other ones, and there's only one fragrance that came to mind. I sprayed my arm with this one, and not that they smell exactly the same, but definitely in the same wheelhouse, in my opinion, as this guy right here. New Odyssey, Pulse of the Night by Yusi Miyake. Super popular fragrance right now, especially of 2019. So this one here is in that same wheelhouse, definitely the same genre, spicy wood, more spicy amber. Um, I'm gonna spray my right hand for a minute. I sprayed my right arm and my left arm earlier with these two to see the difference side by side. And it was kind of funny. This one might've been more more crazy potent for the short term. Um, this one here just became super rich. <clears throat> yeah, so side by side right now, spraying them before the dry down, they're totally different scents. Same wheelhouse, uh, definitely spicy, amber, sweet. This is sweeter, amber. Uh, Pulse of the Night is sweeter than Valor. Valor with that clay component. But when they dry down, they dry down very similar. Not identical by any means, but spicy, amber, and awesome. I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's a really nice fragrance. If you had a chance to get your nose in anything from Robert Graham, post comments down below. Let me know if you've tried them. I've, I posted a quick picture, got a lot of cool feedback, a lot of different information, and I'm looking to pick up another fragrance from the house. Uh, there was one other one. I don't remember which one it was called, but everyone kept commenting about it being like the best one or the most popular one from the line. I personally really like this one. So if this one here is their second best one out of, I think they released three fragrances. If this is their second best one, I'm definitely looking forward to getting the other one in my nose. And that's Robert Graham, Valor. So if you get a chance to try this one out, or if you have it already, man, it's an awesome fragrance. Hope that comes in super clear. So that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a really good time making it. I was pretty excited about testing this out. Even with all the fragrances that I have come in uh, by purchasing or trading or swapping uh, in general, this one here I got really excited about posting a video about, hence the fact I'm adding an extra video here tonight. So I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you have had your chance to get in anything from this house, one more time, that's Robert Graham. This one here is Valor. Uh, make sure you let me know down below. If you tried this fragrance, let me know what you thought about it. If you tried other fragrances from the house and you think I should get my nose on them, let me know about that too, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up whichever one is the most popular one from this house, because I, I've already gotten a lot of feedback in less than an hour about how good that's supposed to be. And I think it sells on Fragrance Net for about $52. I got this for $29.99 at Marshall. I was super excited about that. Uh, probably one of my favorite indoor best pickups from Marshall's in a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited as a frag head, like you, you and me, we're all the same people in that sense. We're here for one reason, that's the love of fragrance and a great community. So that's pretty much it. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. And remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.